welcome to Dernsdale Farm. So this is my lovely brother-in-law and sister-in-law's farm, uh, where they grow uh, mainly soft fruits, so strawberries and raspberries. And I'm going to give you a little tour and talk to you about intensive and extensive agriculture. And then we're gonna have a little look at hydroponics with a little bit of biodiversity and ecosystems thrown in. Um, so first of all, intensive agriculture is where the farmer wants to get the most it can out of the land. So squeezing as many crops into the space available as possible. And extensive agriculture means that it's big. So we're gonna, like this farm here is over many, many hectares and it's a mixed farm. So although we're looking at strawberries and raspberries today, there's also a dairy herd, uh, there are some sheep, and there are some other crops being grown as well, okay? So you can see all these polytunnels here, uh, and this section of the farm is where strawberries are grown. Um, so you can see they're wrapped in plastic, so we perhaps that makes you think about a uh, possible negative uh, side of intensive agriculture, these polytunnels, but all that plastic has been recycled and will be recycled again. So it's about taking all parts of the environment into consideration. We've got the uh, hedgerows uh, around the fields that they try to retain as much as possible. They're over three metres high to make the most of that biodiversity because there's lots, if you think of our small scale ecosystems, all what goes on in, in uh, those hedgerows. So let's have a closer look then inside this polytunnel. So we've got, mm, feels like miles and miles and miles of strawberries and many of these strawberries will end up uh, on our plates back at home. So this is Stafford uh, and many of the products are sold here in the local community. Again, thinking about food miles um, and, uh, and the wider environmental impact. So not that long ago, and still many farms do, they will grow uh, strawberries at ground level, which is backbreaking work for the pickers, and it's slower to do that. Whereas when they're grown at this height, it would be much quicker and much easier. So again, being more productive. And we're thinking about ways to make food production more productive, yet more sustainable. So hydroponics, if you think about what we've, uh, we know about hydroponics, it's using a system of carefully um, used water supply. So all of these strawberries here are fed by a very careful measure of water directly into the plants themselves. They're gonna be losing less through evaporation. So if you have a really close look here, this is a strawberry. So these plants are in flower, so you can't see the lovely red strawberry yet, but look, if you look closely, so there's the flower, this here will be the strawberry. And they are grown then in these um, bags on a bed of uh, coir, which is ground coconut husk and coconut hair. So they're really good. They're in this black plastic and the uh, water is being fed into them, water and uh, some nutrients as well. And that really retains the water to make good use of that water. In here, when we're thinking about uh, pesticides, don't think they'll mind if I remove this. So in here, each bag has one of these. And inside that bag are tiny little bugs. So it's about using nature um, as an advantage for what you want it to do. So these little bugs here will come out all of the packets, they lay their eggs all around, and they're gonna eat all the bad bugs all around those strawberries. So instead of using harsh chemicals uh, to kill um, the wildlife on there, which obviously isn't nice for us, it's then going to be affecting the biodiversity of the surrounding area. This is a natural way of doing that. So we've got the little larvae in there and then also around the farm, all along the hedgerows, there's little pots, kind of like bee traps um, and actually they're vinegar and it's encouraging all the bad uh, flies to go into those little pots of vinegar where they'll go there to eat the bugs rather than to the strawberries to eat their bugs. Okay, so I've just checked with Farmer Tom. Have I said everything, Tom? Pretty much. Pretty much. Okay, so there we go. We've got hydroponics, intensive agriculture, extensive agriculture, done.